Cure has to start with detection of cancer earlier. That's our best shot and really our only shot to cure most patients around the world. I'm a strong believer that, you know, if we want to cure cancer, we have to start from the beginning, prevention. We have to prevent cancer. I want to think about the curing the, the cancer by taking every single step throughout our, our life, making sure that, you know, we prevent cancer by doing the right thing and what we do every single day, exercising and eating. Unfortunately, one of the challenges of COVID-19 has been that we've seen a reduction, a decline in cancer screenings, early diagnosis, resulting in patients being diagnosed late. It's unfortunately, outcomes are poor. We now have the technological capability to identify cancer early. And the biggest thing that will make the biggest difference in the near term is to get access to screening technology for many different cancers and implement that comprehensively. And that will mean that we can pick up cancers earlier and then we can treat them earlier. Detection um, includes screening, includes timely diagnosis, and of course, timely therapies. So I think if we can achieve those for a greater proportion of patients, we are on our way to curing more cancer. We need more information about each individual patient's cancer and that is technologically possible today to do this. And that will guide future treatments. We need to make sure that we're having outstanding patient identification so that we can make sure that we're delivering precision medicines, the right patient, getting the right treatment at the right time. To truly improve the lives of patients living with cancer today, we need to continue investing in research so that we can have a better understanding of what makes a cancer cell malignant and how we can fight it. Perhaps the biggest challenge to cure cancer today is equity and access to the treatments that we already have available. Too many patients around the world do not have access to the basic technologies to prevent, screen, and treat cancer today. So the low and middle income countries has a disproportionate burden to cancer, right? There are about 10 million cancer deaths a year, and 70% of these deaths actually happen in low and middle income countries. What we need to do is to have a sense of urgency to drive the equitable access to first and foremost diagnosis and screening, but then also for the treatment. And that's going to be really challenging. And the only way we could do that is with collaboration, working with societies, working with organizations, working with regional authorities to try and advocate for timely screening and timely intervention and timely diagnosis.